dollars has been spent uh, disproving. Probably even millions of dollars now that have been in different studies that have shown that what he said back then was a complete lie. Um, facts come to light to show that he was biased. Uh, he was choosing to do a study in a certain way that led to results that were just fake. But unfortunately, with the internet now and people seeking their news, not from reliable sources like perhaps yourself, but from their own sources, from their own community sources, they're finding out this information and spreading that around within their groups rather than seeking out the truth from people that do know that, from experts, which are today not really the most favoured source of information for some people. It, a lot of the, the scientific information that's put out there by anti-vaccination groups does have a kind of ring of authenticity about it. The very educated people and certainly very caring parents have been uh, beguiled into to thinking this is legitimate research. Uh, what sort of strategies can uh, governments, can reputable science organisations use to overcome this? It's hard to overcome this, and you're right, it's very very guiled. Um, the the anti-vax lobbies and groups and pulps are very smart today. They, they use information in a way that sounds correct, but in fact, if you follow that through, if you go to trusted sources like uh, government agencies for health, World Health Organization that talk about vaccines, you can see where the holes and this logic and this thinking are. And it really is important for us as a community to read around these sorts of things, try and seek out the right information from trustworthy sources, not from someone who's standing yelling loudly and is essentially trying to trick you into something that they may be selling or they have another reason 